Welcome to your For Sale by Owner Coach video series. My name is Nate Storm and this video is all about how to stage your home. Standing here next to me is Mona Winningham. Mona is an interior designer and professional stager and owner of Mod Creative Group. Mona is going to provide you with key staging information so you can successfully stage your own home. So Mona, let's start at the very beginning. Sure. What is home staging? Quite simply, home staging is the practice of preparing your home for sale. And pretty much what you want to do is you want to pre present your home in the best possible light to potential buyers, meaning put your best foot forward. And what are the benefits of staging a home? Oh gosh, the benefits of staging the home are huge. First of all, your, your goal for this really is to maximize your value and, and to get as many people in the house as possible. So the goal of it and, and the benefits of it quite simply are shorter selling times on the market and also maximizing the price, which is at the end of the day what you want to do. Mona, would you mind elaborating a bit more on some studies that have proven the benefits of staging? Sure, I'd be glad to. Uh, the National Association of Realtors actually put out a study that said staged homes actually command 8 to 10 percent higher return on the sale price. But in the same study, they also said that homes that are not staged actually have a tendency to sit on the market longer. So at the end of the day, if you're properly staged, your house sells quicker and for a higher price, which is exactly what our goal is. Wow. Staging is definitely an integral part to leading to a higher asking price and a quicker sale. Mm -hmm. What are some key staging hints and tips that every homeowner should know? Well, first of all, you want to think in terms of declutter and organization. These are the most important things I think that you can start with in a home. You want it to feel spacious, open, and inviting. So declutter, organization, and cleanliness. Let's dig a little bit deeper about staging specific rooms of the house. Sure, sure. Talk to me about the family room. Okay. One of the most important rooms in the house. This is where people live. They have beautiful living rooms and dining rooms, but where do you hang out in the family room? It needs to be warm, inviting, and a very comfortable feeling. You need to look at the space layout. When I say a family room needs to feel spacious, like it can seat you know, a good amount of people, that doesn't mean that you need a lot of furniture in there, but just make the space feel open and inviting. Have it, if, you're, if your furnishings are neutral, throw some toss pillows on there for pops of color, but that's the main thing in a family room. And what about the kitchen? Oh, the kitchen. Clean, clean, clean. That's the main thing. Decluttered and clean. You want your cabinets organized and make sure that your cupboard is not full and things falling out of it. Clear off your countertops. Remove some of the appliances off. Have pretty cookbooks, a little pop of flour on, flowers on there, and a few of your other things. You're selling the house and the kitchen, not your, your furnishings. And on to the bathroom. Yep. What should a homeowner know about staging a bathroom? Well, a homeowner should really look at Again, cleanliness in the bathroom. And what does your bathroom need? I mean, does it need to be freshened up? When you walk in a bathroom, you want it to feel clean and fresh. Regrout if you need to. Clean, have the floors cleaned properly. And get fresh towels, you know, and rugs to put up and shower curtains. Only use those for the purpose of staging if you want to, to keep it simple. And then have fresh soaps and flowers, just clean and fresh. There appears to be a theme here, clean and decluttered. <laughs> right, right. Is staging only for the interior of a home? Oh, absolutely not. Um, in fact, the minute I do an evaluation on a property, the first thing I look at is the, the curb appeal. It's the first thing that people see and the last thing that people see. So it has to be immaculate. Well manicured lawns, you don't just spend a lot of money, clean it up. You know, mulch a little bit in the front, throw a, a pot of flowers on the front. If you need to paint your fence or your railing or your front door, do it. What are some common mistakes that homeowners make when staging their home? I think the biggest mistake that homeowners make is thinking, let's put it on the market and just see what happens before we really put any money into this thing. We'll do a little bit, but let's see what happens. You only get one time to make a first impression, and really homeowners should understand that potential buyers make a decision whether or not they like a home within the first 30 seconds of being in there. That is curb appeal as well. So put your best foot forward, present your home in the best possible light to potential buyers, and know you've done everything you can possibly do to sell your home. Well, Mona, you've supplied us with invaluable information today. Good. Is there anything else that you'd like to add? 
Um, I, yeah, probably the one thing I would say is don't be afraid necessarily to seek the help of professionals. And that's always kind of the scary thing because you don't really know. You think, you know, you always hear these things about things being expensive and whatever. I can tell you, I mean, I've been a stager for 10 years now. And the one thing I can tell you is, is that I will always consult with a client. They don't have to necessarily use me. And I know a lot of stagers are like that is get your budget, talk to a stager, ask them what the possibilities are and how you can work with them. A lot of people charge hourly, so if you just want advice and consultation, ask for it because they'll, you'll find somebody that'll give it to you and you get the advice and implement yourself. But put your best foot forward. Well, thank you so much, Mona, for adding your staging sure. insights to the For Sale by Owner Coach video series. With this information, buy owner home sellers now know what it takes to stage their home just like a professional.